but I didn't want to. I want him to feel comfortable. I want him to feel okay that he don't have to wake up everyone because he's not because he's not used to love. He used to people saying, "Get up, let's make a YouTube. Get up, let's make a TikTok. Get up, let's do that." Come on now, don't ever play with me. And for you to threaten my house, come on, you gonna you gonna come burn my apartment down, even though I. I know you're not gonna do it because you're not. You don't even got that type of energy in your heart for real to do that stuff, kind of stuff. I'm not stunning, but I can get you arrested for that. But I, I'm not a police ass bitch. I would never get nobody arrested. If you, you'll get yourself arrested before I get you arrested. I'm gonna start saying that's my blood friend slash cousin. <laughs> The whole time you was in Houston, I could have left you in Houston. I could have left you there. The reason why I came to Houston, I came to Houston to have fun regardless. But I came to Houston the second time because I was like, you know what? That's fucked up how they treat him up there. I felt sad for how they was treating you up there. But I should have, I should just let you get treated like this. Sometimes you got to let people get treated the way they get treated because they're not going to learn. But no, nah, for real, this time around, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't need Shamar. I don't need him. I'm done. You know, at the end of the day, I pray that he, I, I'm, I pray that he continue to be blessed and he continue to grow with his his platform. But I'm done. Just like everybody else done with him, I'm done with him. I don't need him. I don't need him. I got my own platform. I'm growing every day. People still join. It don't matter. I still I still leave here with a good couple with a good amount of coins. Um. And we good. I don't need him. Me or Ty. Ty is a, Ty funny himself. I'm funny. We don't need him. He can't do shit for us no more anyway. He dropped the fuck out like, like a damn, like an old ass date. He can't do shit for me. Can't do shit for Ty. And that's just being real. He have lost supporters because he talked to him the way he talked to him. He treat him the way he treat him. You know what I'm saying? It's a good, it's an angle like it's a good amount of people who still love him. It's a lot of people who still love him. But he lose supporters so much because how the way he talk to them and how the way he treat people. Ain't nobody really chicken for him no more like that no more. He I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, well, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him his credit when it's due, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna tell him when it ain't. People might people is still chicken for him, but ain't nobody really chicken for Shamar no more. Shamar back in 2000, motherfucker 20 and 21, baby Shamar was that girl. Everybody was chicken for Shamar. Ain't nobody chicken for him no more. Mm -hmm. It's it's definitely been how you try to ride her, ride her, but she put in his ass this like like everybody else do. What? Let me tell you something. I have I have seen her hit people in their DM. Do y'all know how desperate? That's why I be trying to let y'all know. Y'all might not hear me say this a lot, but he's desperate for being around celebrities. Like, he be hearing celebrities up to my son. This Shamar, the real Shamar. This me, Shamar. Follow me back. This is Shamar. This is the real Shamar. I'm Shamar. What? I be looking at him like, girl, you, if you, let me tell you something. You, if your name's Shamar, they, they gonna follow you. You don't have to, keep, you don't have to blow them up. Like, you know how long it took him to, you, you know how long it took for him to get connected to Suki? He been, he been, he been, like he was he was DM Suki he been he was DM Suki like crazy y'all like I, I do I got I think I did a screenshot let me see do I got a screenshot but yeah he was DM Suki crazy he was like Suki this is the real Shamar this is the real Shamar Tommy friend this is the real Shamar this is the real Shamar I can I'm just trying to see can I find it because I took a I took a screenshot I was like, oh my God, he is this thirsty. Let me go to my screenshots. Hold on. I was like, oh my God. 
And then y'all know he supposed to be on bad. Y'all know he supposed to be on bad club. He supposed to be on bad club Houston, right? Let me let y'all know what he went and did. He went. He went. He supposed to be on two shows, two hit shows. He supposed to be on bad boy club Houston. He went and told the internet that he was on it. He didn't post a ten about he was on it. He supposed to wait it. Nelly already forgive him. She she gave him the slip, the paper. Nelly was DMing him like, Shamar, we're looking at you, stuff like that. Shamar thought because she said we was looking at you that he was on the show. This man went and told everybody in the United States of America that he was on the show. Then he went he went to the Milan audition with Ty. Remember he went when Ty got fighting. He went to the Milan show. Milan cast him on the show. Shamar was supposed to be on the show. Shamar went back on Nelly, went back on Nelly and talked about Milan. So Milan took him off the show. Then he went back and talked about Milan. I mean, he went back on Milan and apologized to Milan and talked about Nelly and them. And that's why Nelly was like, no, babe, we're not going to put you on the show. Shamar was supposed to be on the show, y'all. Shamar been supposed to be on the show. He supposed to be on the Houston. He supposed to be on the Houston show. So while you run around here keeping up drama, so that's why he went to Zodiac House. That's why he went to Zodiac House. Because he supposed to be on two hit shows. But even though Zodiac House did do a hit and they did go viral a lot of times, you know, respectfully, but he supposed to be on Bad Boys Club Houston. He messed up his own bag. Because what he do is he feed off of what people tell him. And what I mean by that, y'all, I can go back and I can go tell Shamar, oh yeah, I don't like Jada. Yeah, that bitch messy. He would sit right there and say, mm-hmm, I don't like her either. Matter of fact, let me tell something until I don't like her. Like, he don't even be having problems with people. But he listens to what people say and he hear what people say. He's he's like a puppet. He hear what people say and he go repeat what people say. But when he repeat it, he sing like he's saying it. Like I can say Shamar, I can like I could be like, like, for example, I could be like, oh, girl, Ty doing too much. He be like, oh, yeah, she do too much. I don't, that's why I don't fuck with Ty. And he'll start a fake argument. He'll try to argue with Ty. Like, he, he feed off of what people say. People can tell him anything, and he'll feed it. Like, right now, he really ain't got no issue with me. But somebody somebody who he around telling him telling him negative things about me, and this what making him feed off of what people tell Like, it's what, I'm telling you what it is. I know him. People telling him stuff, and he feeding off of it to react. And when he reacting, he trying to go come at me. So he don't have his, and it's and it's sad to say he don't have his own mind. He only feeding off of what people telling him to say. People telling him to say, like I like it's like it, I ain't gonna lie. It been plenty of times I don't told him to read somebody, just to see if he gonna do it, and he did it. He didn't have no issue with Elvo for real. I told him I said block Elvo. He did it. Then he started, started a beef with Elvo. He didn't have no problem with Elvo. Elvo, Elvo and him was cool. They was like this in my house. Me and Elvo had issue. Not Shamar and Elvo. Me, me and Elvo, Shamar and Elvo was like this in my house. I told Shamar. Shamar and Elvo used to go to the club with each other and everything. I'm the one that had a problem with Elvo, not Shamar. I told Shamar, I said, block him. Shamar said, yeah, I'm going to block him. Went on live and talked about him. That's how they got to be. He's a puppy. He ain't no, nobody friend. He will sit and talk about you like a dog. That's why I always say it takes two to talk. So with with the third party, I know a lot of y'all be wanting to know who be posting it. So what Shamar would do, what Shamar would do is say for instance, a supporter, a supporter to Shamar was like, hey, tell me to your real friend. He he don't lie, talk about you. Shamar will he would copy and paste it and he will post it on his story and make it like a third person see it. When in reality, it'd be the supporters. So that's a re that's another reason why me and Shamar always follow out too. Because a supporter could tell him something, and like I say, a puppet. He will listen to what a supporter say, and he'll post it. So when Shamar be having, when Shamar be, when Shamar be saying, look, like when he, when, when he be typing, and it's like he don't know how to spell, and it be slow shit, he typed it. But if if it's like in correct English, or if somebody that somebody text him that, like one of like a supporter, or like one of his friends that who be watching our live, um, they'll text him that, and he'll post it on his page. So yeah, Shamar, he, Shamar don't know how, Shamar don't know correct English. So when Shamar be speaking in third um, third person, it be a supporter don't text him that and 
he'll post it from it from a copy and paste. Shamar don't even know Shamar don't even know how to spell. So he don't even know how to count money. So and I'm not trying to dog him out, but he don't know how to spell, he don't know how to count money. Like he definitely don't know how to count money. So when y'all be seeing when y'all be seeing everything in correct English, that'd be because somebody done typed that for him and post and made him post it. Like a lot of things, like a lot of things, people, people make him post a lot of stuff. And a lot of y'all sitting right here, y'all, he didn't never go, he never went to Georgia State. He never went to college. Um when, when you are when you are de, when you are delayed and when you are slow and when you have five teachers in one room, what happened is you you don't they push you, they they send you to the next grade. And the reason why they send you to the next grade because it's like, let's be real. If 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 they if if people like Shamar have to take tests like how we used to, to take tests, people be kept back. But with that, they push you to the next grade. So that's why he made it to the twelfth grade. If Shamar, if Shamar, and I'm not trying to dog him out or bash him, but let's be real. If if Shamar had to be like regular people and take the CRCT, the Georgia Milestone, Shamar when Shamar went finish school, he don't meet the curricular of meaning that that level. Shamar mindset is on a kindergarten level. And I know a lot of y'all can be like, like, oh, Tom, yours is too. You can say what you want to say about me, but I'm very intelligent. I might not know a lot of words, but bitch, I, I, bitch, I, can, I can sound it out, and I can add, I can subtract, I can do everything in the world. Bitch, if I can go out here and suck dick, get fucked, bitch, I, know, I better know my, my education first. I didn't finish school. You know what I'm saying? I dropped out in my last year. My last year was 12th grade, I dropped out. Because I want to be delusional about a nigga who was beating my ass. And if you heard this story before, you y'all know I'm not lying. I dropped out of school because a nigga promised me that he was gonna give me my life, give me the best thing. I'm 18 years old, living this best life. He gave me all this money and then turn around, made me drop out of school and beat my ass. So yeah. But um he 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 don't have a he don't have an adult level. His mindset don't fit in the adult level. He's still a child because he ain't been loved. He ain't been pampered, he ain't been you know, he haven't been loved in his life. You know what I'm saying? So his mindset, he 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 still read. Like he don't even know how to read correctly. He don't read. Like he don't know how to read. He don't know how to sound words out. He don't know how to read. All he know how to say is bitch and hoe. If you get somebody a book right now, I promise you couldn't read a page of of a, of, a, of a book. He can't even read a title of the book. So Hey, Larry. Like my son is smarter than him, and it's sad to say it. My son, my son is smarter than him. My son knows shit. My son is very smart. My son is uh, he's smart as hell. He never went to college. He never went to Georgia State. Now, if he would have went to Atlanta Metro College, then I would have been like, yeah, he probably went there. That boy didn't go to Georgia State. He didn't go to Georgia State. He didn't go to Georgia Tech. He didn't go to none of these colleges in Atlanta. He didn't. Only reason why he's saying he went to Georgia State because he be downtown every day. And I guess he see all the students walking walking from lunch and going to another class. And I think he feel like, and I think he felt like since they walking to another class and it's like that, he feel like he walking with them. He feel like he went to school at Georgia State. That boy ain't never went to that boy ain't never went to school at Georgia State ever in his life. Ever. Never hey Larry, what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? Why your why your why your girlfriend try me?
Mm-hmm. You all right, though? Mm-hmm, girl, she tried me. You do? I'm proud of you, Larry. You've been doing good. Keep up the good work, Larry. Don't don't let nobody bring you back down, okay? I'm glad you're changing. You're doing better. I can tell you're doing better. You've you been laying low off the, little, off the cocaine. You move back with your grandmama. You've been laying low off the cocaine. That's what I'm talking about. Give yourself a clap on the back. I'm proud of you, Larry. You don't understand. I'm proud of you. Because I, I I would hate to have to lose you. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I genuinely went fuck with you, and I would hate to have to lose you. What you where you at? I'll tell Adrian what's popping. Oh. Okay, okay. They said they can't hear you, Larry. Um, I know. Larry, Larry, <laughs> not slow though. Y'all think Larry's slow. Larry just got a little delay. Yeah, Mr. Mirror, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know who smart is. Larry, now one thing I can't say, y'all, Larry very smart. He just got yep. a little delay, yeah, cool, but he's yeah. very smart. But y'all don't, y'all don't see the other yeah, side. I mean, they got, got Mel Jordan. Then that, that's one thing I can't say. Yep. I can't say Larry, Larry is smart sure as hell, y'all. I never lie to y'all, Larry is smart. I'm not. Larry is smart. I ain't gonna lie, yep. he's smart as hell. He's just a little delay, but he's smart as hell. I'm going to talk about Larry. Yep. I'm going to do good. I'm going to do good. When's your birthday? I'm going to do Oh, yeah, wait, I'm going to take you out, okay? Sister, huh? uh, I'm going to take you out yeah, somewhere. You, me, you, and Adrian, and probably, you know, everybody else. Done, done, Ty. I'm going to take you somewhere for your birthday. I'm going to let you know, though, because I think I'm going to be out of town. You say on the 10th? Man, I don't think so I mean, when I come back, I'm going to be out of town on the 10th. When I come back, I got you. I promise you. All right. 